Hello, this is uh, Zé Cuchão from Twitter. Um, today we are going to talk about um, uh, recovery of uh, stuff from your PS4 uh, HDD. Um, uh, some notes. Uh, we need uh, several things for, for this. We, we can do this on Linux, but I'm going to use uh, WSCL2, which is from uh, Windows 10 and Windows uh, 11 uh, uh, for mounting support. Uh, we, of course, need our HDD. Uh, we need the, the HDD script. Uh, it's Python and requires uh, bin uh, hc HCE, uh, pathlib and pycryptodome you can find it uh, on PS psx place you if you uh, do a quick uh, a quick search you also need uh, from uh, your console you need your s flash zero dump uh, either uh, you can dump it from uh, the, the chip uh, from Macronix or uh, the FTP server in uh, a hacked console. And it must be labeled like this as flash zero. Okay. So n after that, you need. Uh, oh, um, and uh, you need the WSCL kernel. Uh, with the UFES, UFES uh, read-only support you can get uh, this from github um, there is an option here um, let me see where it is um, it's in Microsoft's config WSL and if you search for w UFES second option says here config WFES file system you put yes here or why so um, you will need to compile it but I will I'll, I'll provide it to you uh, from uh, from a link from mega um, you also need to install crypt mount from WSCL2 and you need to generate keys pont bin uh, with script so to do this you i can just delete these these ones i will delete them i will open up my linux command line just wait a bit run the python script and it will generate the data and the tweak key to keys.bin you can see here f407 f407 8a e8 8a e8 so it's correct so couple more notes uh, you need the, to edit the CM tab uh, properly and with proper permi permissions I didn't put here but you you the permissions are 644 and the CM tab is something like this um, I have it with SD uh, in my case it's C but it can be also A or B or C or D and uh, this can be 13 or 27 this is for the user uh, uh, partition the partition with the, the largest size on the PS4 uh, it is used where where you say your, where you keep your save files where you keep your packages where you keep your licenses uh, etc um to mount you use uh, sudo crypt mount user so this is the user partition which will mount the user partition uh, so uh, 27 or 13 according to the to the partitions on, on the on the ps4 
uh, if you see if you see it uh, all labeled one after the other one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen then you must use stc 13 or a or b if you see one three seven nine eleven etc you must use stc or a or b uh, 27 so um, another thing to get the, the list of disks that you have uh, currently connected to your um, to your uh, to your PC you can use this command you open up the PowerShell PowerShell in uh, administrator you run it and you can see here that I have physical drive 0 which is my SSD it's not it because it's NVMe NVMe and you can also see the physical drive 1 which is the the, the drive that we want to mount so um, we're going to uh, mount this drive we already have the command here uh, in the mount pump dot bat see it here wsl dot uh, slash slash mount uh, physical drive one so we run the command as administrator and it's mount after this uh, we open up uh, yes, we also need a, a user folder for, to to mount the um, to to a certain place. We can use the desktop folder if we want, but it's not necessary. We we need a a user folder to to put whatever we want here. So after this, we open the Linux shell. Uh, we. Um, we edit with nano or with vim or with whatever editor you want to use uh, the etc et crypt mounts cm tab put our password uh, here it's stc13 it's going to mount to the user folder on the desktop um, the file system type is UFS I already have my my kernel with the UFS support you can uh, you can uh, add it yourself if you wish uh, I'm going to provide the files later uh, the cipher is uh, XTS so uh, AES XTS and the key file you can find it on the hdd script uh, keys.bin so it's er everything is set uh, sudo script mount user okay so uh, you can find stc13 let's see let's see what we have uh, st okay it's stb in this case so we're going to na nano nano the the file and I'm going to replace the C with a B. I'm going to save it and it's mounted. Okay. So if you go if we go here, we won't see anything. But if we go via command line to the user folder and we alias. We can see here our folders uh, for app, which is where the apps are, for the home, which are which is uh, wh where the the user stuff is, uh, for the license, which is where most of the license things are, uh, trophies, uh, etc. Um, another thing to note is that. Um, uh, for the UFS uh, support to add it to um, 
to the to the to the WSCL2 you need to run these two command lines because you need to put the busy image on the user profile and you of course need to add it uh, to the WSCL config dot WSCL config if I go here to my um, uh, users Zakushaun and uh, go to um, WSL config. You can see here, so there it is. See users Zakushaun busy image, and the busy image must be here. Here it is. So this is the 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 Linux with the with the WFS support, and it's working. I, we can see that we can uh, we can uh, access the the device. Otherwise, we would have a um, unknown files unknown file system the UFS. So uh, of course uh, this is working. Uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching. I will put the all the commands uh, on the description on YouTube and. Uh, Thank you for watching and I hope to see you uh, on uh, another uh, video. Thanks.